Peace, my dear brothers and sisters. Catholic Mass readings for today. September 10, 2020. Thursday of the 23rd week in ordinary time. First reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, knowledge inflates with pride, but love builds up. If anyone supposes he knows something, he does not yet know as he ought to know. But if one loves God, one is known by him. So about the eating of meat, sacrifice to idols. We know that there is no idol in the world, and that there is no God but one. Indeed, even though there are so-called gods in heaven and on earth, there are, to be sure, many gods and many lords. Yet for us there is one God, the Father, from whom all things are and for whom we exist, and one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom all things are and through whom we exist. But not all have this knowledge. There are some who have been so used to idolatry up until now that when they eat meat sacrificed to idols, their conscience, which is weak, is defiled. Thus, through your knowledge, the weak person is brought to destruction, the brother for whom Christ died. When you sin in this way against your brothers and wound their consciences, weak as they are, you are sinning against Christ. Therefore, if food causes my brother to sin, I will never eat meat again, so that I may not cause my brother to sin. Responsorial Psalm Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O Lord, you have probed me, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. Truly you have formed my inmost being. You net me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Probe me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. See if my way is quick, and lead me in the way of old. Alleluia! From the first letter of St. John. If we love one another, God remains in us, and His love is brought to perfection in us. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear I say, Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you, to the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well, and from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic, give to everyone who asks of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great and you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Word of the Lord